Hi everybody, welcome back to Battlefleet Gothic Armada. I'm 4040 and well, this is a, uh, a bit of a welcome back for me actually as well. As uh, the channel has been a little bit dormant over the last few uh, months because of um, commitments to real life, uh, mainly to do with a huge amount of university work. But uh, a few other things cropped up here and there where I was, uh, well, I, I basically had zero free time and zero free time means zero time for youtube because that's what i do in my free time i chill out i make cool videos for you guys and uh, have fun on youtube so yeah um but i am back i have recently handed in a whole load of university stuff i'm getting some good marks back from it so the card work and very little sleep was worth it and now I've got a few weeks off, and I can enjoy my belated Christmas holiday by making some YouTube videos and enjoying some time with you guys. So, in that regard, we're going to continue our Let's Play of Battlefield Gothic Armada. The only thing that the Imperial ship crews fear even more than travelling in the war is traveling in the warp while there is a storm raging. The light of the Emperor's Astronomica can no longer guide the navigators, and entire sectors can be isolated, preventing any help from afar. The chaos, at home in the distortion of reality, becomes an even greater threat. And even the most experienced navigators can only hope for a safe arrival at their destination. O oh, eternal God Emperor, preserve us from the dangers of the void. Oh, I'm still loving the artwork. I'm still loving that artwork. They've made good use of Games Workshop's uh, intellectual Admiral property. Spire, an emergency meeting of the Sector Command Council is scheduled to begin very soon. May I ask the purpose of this meeting, Lord Admiral? We plan to discuss the future survival of the Sector. I want you to attend. This meeting of the Sector Command Council is called to order. Are all representatives ready to begin? Affirmative. The Adeptus Mechanicus is ready. The Inquisition, as always, stands vigilant. The Adeptus Astartes are prepared to continue. The Navis Nobility allow this meeting to commence. The Astra Militarum are ready. Let us proceed. Battlefleet Agrippina present and accounted for. Battlefleet Gothic, ready to strike. As first among equals in this council, I will oversee this meeting. A massive warp storm has engulfed the Gothic Sector, cutting us off from the rest of the Imperium. The warp storm has completely disabled astropathic communications beyond the Sector, and makes warp travel impossible for much of the Segmentum. The key point is this. We are isolated. We can expect no reinforcements and no assistance. We have no way of escaping what lies in store. My agents have confirmed the massive scale of the Chaos invasion. Battlefleet Gothic has already engaged with several small Chaos fleets and has led multiple successful missions against the enemy. Two artifacts of extreme power have been secured and placed out of the enemy's reach from the systems of Orn's World and Purgatory. These two systems have been attacked by Chaos forces. Admiral Spire and his fleet have repelled both of these attacks. The assaults show that the heretics want the artifacts. To what end, we do not know. The relic's power, however, could be harnessed to create some kind of devastating weapon. Thank you for your candor, Inquisitor Horst. The information you've provided is quite valuable. From what we have learned and from the traitor's recent activity throughout the sector, 
There can be no question that we are facing a large-scale invasion. All Imperial personnel must be called back to duty at once. For the Adeptus Mechanicus, all industrial facilities must be focused on producing war machines, weapons, and ammunition. Each Forge world must be able to provide the equipment necessary to the Imperial Navy for the war to come. Acknowledged. However, the efficiency of our Forge world's workforce will be compromised. The lack of supplies from beyond the warp storm will lead to an estimated loss of 50% productivity in the Sectus Manufactorums. The Astra Militarum must step up recruitment and ensure every man and woman is ready and available for battle. Any who refuse to fight shall be considered traitors and will be executed. Understood, Lord Admiral. I must remind you that attacks from the Chaos Fleet and the Warp Storm have thrown the entire sector into anarchy and confusion. Carrying out your orders may prove to be a harsh task. I formally request the full cooperation of the Adeptus Astartes for the war effort to defend the Gothic Sector. The purpose of the Space Marines is to defend the Imperium and to purge heresy from the galaxy. You will have our help. Battlefleet Admirals, Call every crewman to duty, and be prepared to depart within the hour. We have received multiple requests from systems throughout the sector, pleading for help. If our fleets do not respond immediately, the entire sector could be plunged into anarchy. Battlefleet Agrippina will set sail at once, Lord Admiral. Battlefleet Gothic is ready for any assignment. Let us strike back at the invaders. Our recent encounters with the Chaos Fleets have confirmed our worst fears. Abaddon the Despoiler is personally leading the assault. With that, I declare an end to this emergency meeting. For the twelfth time in recorded history, we are facing nothing less than a full Black Crusade. Okay. Wow, what an introduction. So the Warp Storm is raging. Uh, I have knighted, activated the... As though in response to chaotic hurricane of the warp and its power weakens the storm. So ships repair costs are 50% more expensive. Ships are 50% more likely to get lost in the warp. The 12th Black Crusade as well. The Hand of Darkness seems to disturb the chaos warp ship's capabilities. For each planet that they control, they have an improved chance of launching another attack. Okay, so chaos is now a thing. Uh, they're not just annoyances. We only have... Uh, three lost worlds, but we only have three deployments, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, bloody hell. We have a lot of uh, attacks incoming. So let's have a look at these attacks. They're all chaos. They're orcs and secessionists. Secessionists, orc. Okay, so these three are the part of the main attack. The rest are basically kind of distractions. We've got a data recovery of secessionists. Cruiser clash off the orcs. Uh, yeah, I've got a cruiser clash off the orcs. More secessionists, convoy, and a breakthrough. Okay, convoy, data recovery, cruiser clash. We're going to go with uh, each CM cruiser clash. Reason being is it's 600 points, it's a cruiser clash. Uh, so. It's nice and simple. It should be okay. Uh, so chaos get reduced chance of affecting it. Uh, yeah, it's the warp storms. Yeah. If we didn't have the Eye of Night, we'd have almost a hundred percent chance of losing ships to warp storms if we have to bug out. Uh, okay. So we're not doing too badly. Uh, this particular world's. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna launch this one. This one, uh, simple cruiser clash against Chaos. Uh, the Imperials, we still are having this kind of brawling fleet. So you want to get in close to Chaos, where Chaos wants to keep as far away as possible from you. Good thing is, is we have battle cruisers and cruisers. Uh, so what we're going to do is... Uh, going to have... a We've got 600 points. Battle cruiser. Cruiser. Uh, 250, another cruiser, obviously, and then a couple of light dauntlesses. Uh, these guys not available. I could go with the, uh, 
the, the three, yeah. Okay, so we have three points left. Now, I could save 105 points, but I want the extra firepower of the Dauntless. Uh, and the idea of this is getting close. We've got a lot of uh, anti-air power. We're going to use them as bombers. So let's click ready and let's go on. Uh, I think we should have more cruisers. I think a lot. we've got a lot of ships that are broken right now, I think. But, uh, yeah, still, still loving this game. Still loving... And I'm having fun with playing uh, the Tau. The Tau are a little bit overpowered when you're playing against the AI because the Tau are are brutal. They they just sit face first and wait for you to come to them, and then they will they'll kill you. So yeah, the Tau are quite nasty against the AI because the AI does doesn't know what to do with itself. Okay, let's get our ship set up. I want uh, we probably I want bombers. At the very least, I want to have a boarding actions on the go and ready. We've got different torpedoes, which is nice. Uh, and engagement-wise, we want side on 3k, close as possible. Again, bombers, boarding, uh, that lot's all fine. And we want close range. We want everybody in brawling distance. We want to brawl the chaos. You do not. You don't want to play the range game with chaos. So let's turn off the auto resolve. There we go. And you are that and then you are let's turn off your auto resolve as well. Okay, we're ready. And I'm gonna take the fleet forward. So the fleet is gonna go forward. We've got a lot of mainline guns as well. So I intend to use them as well. Now I'm happy for this, the fleet to slowly progress forward. It looks like we've got... No, we've got a range of contacts, but uh, Chaos do like their escorts. We've gone for a uh, cruiser heavy, so we've got a lot of, a lot of, kind of eggs in the basket. We're out of range at the moment. Now we kind of want to fire this at closer ranges, because... Your orders? Uh, have I got an Orca probe? Awaiting orders. Uh, no ice drives. Ship slowdowns. Ready. No, no auger probes. So we don't know whether we're going to be firing at escorts or not. Um, at your command. We're just going to have to head this guy off. Ship ready. Then see what happens. By a generous spread of torpedoes. Very generous. Yes, Admiral. Let's drop that in. Su still suffers from a lot of scatter. Okay. Oh, no, it pops. Okay, so that definitely was an escort. Ship ready. Little bit of a waste there, but not too much. Now let's slow time down. Gonna put stasis bomb there. At your command. Followed by. Resuming normal functions. We're gonna as soon as he gets caught up, we'll see who gets trapped by the stasis bomb. And then him, he's gonna be trapped by the stasis bomb, and we're gonna work out the deal. Enemy ship sighted! Okay, that's just an escort, that's fine. So disruption bomb Activating down. Tactical cogitators. Uh, let's put that on there. As Resuming well. normal functions. So they're putting the stasis bomb orders. down as well. They just lost their escort. They've got another escort trapped. So we're happy for. We're kind of happy for. Enemy ship sighted! Ship ready! For them to do whatever they want to do. Okay, boarding successful. A lot of escorts. There are a lot of escorts here. Enemy ship we're doing sighted. okay. Shield on this guy is, is actually quite Astro, low. I'm just going to do Brace for Impact because he is at Boarding the front of the group. Take the escort down. Take this escort down. Jesus Christ, just kill him. Thank you. Next. We are the Imperial Navy. Take this escort down as he is danger close. Take him down. Come on, guys. At your command. Take him down. I want you guys to stay there. Enemy ship sighted! 
Okay, that is a... That's a cruiser. We're going for the cruiser. We're going to take out the cruiser. Targeting the enemy vessel. Your orders? You're doing fine. Ah, that's out of range. Well, Your orders? in range. But... So I'm going to try to get control of him. Execute high energy turn. And then uh, fire. Resuming normal functions. Our borders have caused internal damage. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, all the torpedoes hit as well. That's amazing. For the Emperor. Okay, broadside on. This is exactly where we want to be with Imperial ships. Broadside on. Uh, this guy. Bracing for impact because he is taking the brunt of the damage. Dormus, how are you doing? You're doing alright, you're doing okay. He's taking quite a lot of damage too. Just need to kill that person. Reporting okay, he's, successful boarding action. he's trying to leave. Ship ready. All ahead, full. No, Dormus doesn't want to run. He's going to be gone. We're not going to get him, I don't think, before he beats the spears. Oh! Oh, we did get him! That's amazing! Command. Yes! Okay, where did the other chaos go? Oh, you're all the way over here! Target locked in! Alright. Yes, Admiral! That's one. Shit, that one missed. Awaiting orders! Um, if he stops... I will use that. Let's Your orders. get those that can get closer, closer. Yes, Admiral. Ah, uh, out of range. Ship ready. Let's put that in there. If he tries to bug out, I will just talk him. Let's see if I can get as much damage on him as possible. And your command. He's on fire, and he's about to run face first into the rest of my fleet, so I think this is going to be... Brace for impact. Your orders. Acquiring new vector. Get out of there. Boarding teams have crippled the enemy. Pop. <laughs> Got ya. Wow, that was, that was cool. He was just starting to jump out there as well, and he just ran face first into the Imperial fleet. That's not what you want to do. Not with the skirmishing fleet. They should have stayed in the skirmish. Instead, they tried to brawl a bit, so... And then again, Chaos can be effective. There are several Chaos ships that are good at brawling. We are victorious! Yes, and we have some levels up. That is really good. That is excellent. That was a nice fight. That was a good, clean fight. No losses. Maximum enemy uh, kind of fuck up in the return, really. Let's have a look. What have we got? Uh, have we got anything else? We've got a lot of levels up. Every sh Well, almost every ship there leveled up. And yeah, we need... Okay, so you got a level up. So your crew. It's the first level up for you. You're a brand new ship. So Master Gunner. I know we've got a Squadron Sergeant as well. But we want to keep it balanced. Uh, you, you're all about the shooting. Uh, so, troop value improved. Cooldown improved. Tech priest improved. I'm going to go with master navigator because now I don't want to start losing ships to the warp as we only have a limited number of ships in the warp. Uh, okay, we've got armor piercing rounds for close range. That's excellent. Uh... We can increase the ranges of these guys' guns. So we can either increase the range or we can decrease the accuracy loss. But we have got other things. We've got extra turrets, fire protection, um, adds new critical damage, triggering a mutiny to lightning strikes. Uh, ooh, okay. So that's a mutiny. So we can clear people off the field with that. I want to trigger mutinies with uh, the lightning types because that's... So you're squadron sergeant, but we want to bump your gunnery up at the same time. And uh, you have... 
short burn targeting. You've got all the same. You've got ram, power ram. That's nice. Uh, let's. We've hooked your fighters, so let's just up your close range damage because we do end up fighting with everybody in close range. That was kind of good, and our transport ships are fine. All right, we're good. Let's go back to the Gothic setter. All right, so we have fended off two. Uh, well, one of the uh, chaos attacks. We've still got a whole load of attacks uh, going on. We're going to lose a load of worlds. Um, these are to do with renown, but. Uh, yeah, I still do want to fight off Chaos. We've got a Convoy and a Data Recovery. We'll see you in the next video. There's going to be another one of the Battlefleet Gothic videos coming up fairly soon. And uh, hopefully uh, we can continue with the channel. And hopefully, st because stuff's chilled out a little bit, we're going to have a backlog of footage. Uh, there are still going to be other series that I'm going to be doing. Guild Dungeoneers is always just nice and fun. It's nice and relaxing. That's my, my chill out game, really. Uh, as well as that, uh, Kerbal Space Program is always going to be something that I'm going to want to record. And uh, there's a few other things as well. So we'll see you in the next episode, guys. Bye now.